guys, thanks for stopping by my channel. So today I have another Luster Bust video for you and if you're new to my Luster Bust series, basically I take a product, test it out for a while and let you guys know if it is a Lust product, something worth picking up or trying out, or a Bust product, something that's been kind of a fail for me. These opinions are just my own and all of the products have been purchased by me. Today I'm going to be talking about the Physician's Formula Organic Wear CC Cream. There is another CC Cream by Physician's Formula. It is not part of the Organics Wear line though. I believe it is called the CC Plus and it's just part of the regular line. So this is the uh, Organic Wear CC Cream, which I was really interested to try. In the fall and winter months, I tend to go for a more full coverage foundation, something like the Revlon Color Stay Whipped from the drugstore or my Estee Lauder Double Wear. Those are kind of my go-tos. And then in the spring and summer months, I start to go for more of a sheer foundation or uh, a BB cream, CC cream, tinted moisturizer, something like that. Something a little more natural that will still let like the freckles on my nose kind of peek through, but it still is gonna give me an evenness, a brightness, and a more youthful look to my skin. I purchased this at Target in Canada. It was $18.98, kind of expensive for a CC cream. You do get 1.2 flowing ounces though. Usually I believe most foundations and CC creams, that kind of thing, are about one flowing ounce, so you do get a little bit more. I think the packaging is quite cute. You get like this nice little tube with a metallic-y sort of finish, uh, silver with a lime green writing. And it's really nice as it dispenses nicely. You have a nice tube at the top with a small hole. You don't have this like gaping hole where you're like, ah, trying not to pour way too much out. You can easily control how much product you want to get out of the tube. So I picked up the shade Light, which is a good shade for my skin tone. I'm quite fair. The only other shade available though is a light medium. I really hate when companies do that. I mean, not everyone is going to fall into the light, light medium category, obviously, and you're really eliminating a lot of your market when you only produce two shades. So I'm really hoping that they come out with more shades, but for now, those are the two available. I have the Physician's Formula website pulled up on my computer here, and I'm just going to read you guys the description. Uh, it says it's the first ever 100% natural CC cream and that it has 70% organic ingredients. Okay, so it is a color corrector. It's supposed to provide instant hydration and naturally protect your skin. So before I kind of get into my thoughts on those claims, I do just want to stress the importance of you know, a CC cream is not a foundation. If you are someone who really wants full coverage, a CC cream is not for you, BB cream is not for you, and a tinted moisturizer is probably not going to be for you either. It's not going to give you the full coverage of a foundation. This is going to give you a light coverage. So I, I just want to stress that it is not going to give you a full coverage. I am wearing it today. However, I did add concealer, powder, bronzer, all that kind of stuff because I wanted you guys to see what it looks like when you add, you know, all those things on top of it. I do have pictures, however, of just my bare face and then my bare face with only this on it. So I'm going to show you guys those pictures right now. So hopefully you guys can see that I do really feel like this is a nice color corrector. I mean, it evened out my dark and red areas on my skin. It does not cover, like, complete blemishes. I do have this little spot on my chin that's a scar from a huge pimple I've recently had. That was still peeking through a bit. It wasn't like fully covering that at all. But I did think that it gave my skin a nice even tone. It also brightened and gave me a bit of a glow. So I was really happy with that. As far as the CC cream goes, I think it did what it was supposed to do. As far as the claim of this being instantly hydrating, I actually do find it to be a bit moisturizing. I do not find it dry at all. My skin has been quite dry lately, so any sort of product that I put on my face that is not moisturizing, uh, you know, I could just instantly see the flaky and dry patches. And this does not give me that sort of a look at all. It actually gives me kind of a, I don't want to say dewy because it's not oily, but it does give me a, a bit of a glowy look, I guess you could say. Like It definitely gives my skin the appearance that is more hydrated than it currently is. So that is a plus. So it does also claim to naturally protect your skin and it does have an SPF of 20. So I think that's quite good. I mean, you can slap this on in the spring or summer, go out in the sun and your face is gonna be well protected. Something interesting that I read on the website is that it says to apply literally 15 minutes before sun exposure, um, not to use in the water, it's not water resistant, and that you should reapply at least every two hours if you were out in the sun for sun protection. I will say, the first day that I wore this, I used it just on bare skin, no primer, no powder, anything like that, and it probably did only last me about two hours before I noticed it wearing. After that, I started to use my Benefit Professional primer underneath it, and then I set it with a powder, 
and it really lasted me the better part of the day. So that is how I have been wearing it for makeup purposes. If you are just slapping this on though in the summer as a protector, you may want to reapply it if you're using it more as a sunscreen. If you're wearing it more for makeup purposes, um, use it with a primer and a powder and I think you'll be, you're going to extend the wear of your makeup much longer obviously, but this works really well for me. It is hypoallergenic, fragrance free, dermatology approved, gluten free and paraben free. So those are all good things. Overall, you guys, I have to say this is a less product. I totally wasn't expecting it to be a less product because I have had a really hard time finding BB creams, CC creams, all that kind of stuff that I really like, but this is a great one. And just the fact that it's, you know, 100% natural, 70% organic, paraben free, that's just icing on the cake for me. Like I said, if you want this to last, make sure you use a primer and set it with a powder. I really find that prolongs the wear. Um, but if you want to just use it as a sunscreen, you're going to want to reapply it more often. Just like any sunscreen, really, you want to be reapplying it plenty throughout the day. You're going to be out in the sun, it's going to be sweating off of you that kind of thing. Like I said, if you're looking for more full coverage, you're probably going to want to avoid these and just go straight for a, you know, full coverage foundation. The Revlon Color Stay Whipped is an excellent drugstore choice. But yeah, um, so overall, I'm going to say this is a less product. I really, really like it, and I think it's going to be my go-to CC cream for the spring and summer this year. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment below and let me know if you were liking this Luster Bust series. And if there is a product that you would like me to review as part of this series, feel free to leave that in the comment section below. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and click that button so that you can keep up on my new videos. Take care of each other and I will see you soon. Bye.